Welcome into sports. It was day one of the Southern Conference Tournament in Nashville as the women kicked things off with quarterfinal games all day. The number two seed Lady Mox took on seven seed Furman this afternoon. Chattanooga was looking for their first win in the tournament since 2019. Sports reporter Samantha Cassano was courtside at the Harris Cherokee Center and has us covered. This may look like just a box score, but it is a box score for the ages. A 27 point fourth quarter and the Chattanooga Mocs are moving on to the SOCON tournament semifinals. Sean Poppy has talked about the fight and resiliency of his team with their backs against the wall. And that was certainly on display in this game against Furman. Welcome to Asheville, North Carolina, where dreams come true and dreams go to die. The Mocs hoping for that first part, but the Paladins just the better team in the first three quarters. More points, rebounds, assists. Mocs in desperate need of some urgency and agency. It's a good thing they get exactly that. Clock is ticking. Fourth quarter, Addie Grace Porter finds Seagrin Olaf's daughter for the corner three. That gets Chattanooga within three. Mox get their first lead of the game on some clutch AGP free throws. And Yaz Wazirin gets this place rocking with a big time three to extend the lead. Raven Thompson, fresh off being named SOCON Freshman of the Year, showing off exactly why she's the Freshman of the Year. She finishes with a double double. Yaz, AGP, Abby Cornelius all finish in double digits. The Chattanooga Mocs prove they are comeback kids. They defeat Furman 63-52, a monster second half, an improbable comeback for Sean Poppy's squad. You know, I thought when I called that timeout, uh, just we looked defeated. Um, but we left that timeout for whatever reason. You know, we, this ain't going to be it. And um, they fought for this university, for our program since the day we got here. It was great, like always. And March Madness comes with a lot of excitement. So our bench, our crowd, all of it. It was a lot of fun and a big difference from years past. It was a lot of fun to be part. And it was a struggle there for a while, but uh, survive in advance. This is a team that won seven total games last year. They were projected to finish fifth in the conference in the preseason poll this year. On Friday, they will play in their first SOCON tournament semifinal game since 2019. Tip off for that game is set for 115. For now, at the Harris Cherokee Center in Asheville, North Carolina, Smith Sano. Local 3 sport.